What's up everyone? It's Michelle Alexandria coming at you with a review. And actually it's not a review, it's just a little commentary. This is the video I never wanted to have to make, but it's happened. I have burning on my OLED. Originally I debated whether or not I was gonna do this video or not, but I've always said if I ever got burning on my OLED, I would be honest about it and let you all know. Well, it happened and it happened last week. Um, and it wasn't because of gaming or anything of that nature. It was because of stupid, you. it was because of those stupid YouTube podcasts where they had their damn logos right in the center of the TV. Um, so one of the podcasts I watch apparently got burned into my TV. So now, um, I have this, this spot right in the middle of the screen and I can't, and I can barely watch it now because there's a because his spot is bleeding through everything and it is driving me effing, it's not driving me crazy, but I want to take a hammer to this TV. And the worst part is I was a hypocrite because I always say, buy a warranty. I had warranties on my last two OLEDs and really nothing, I never got burning. I had other minor issues with it and I replaced the panels just because I had, I had a warranty, but yeah, this OLED has serious burning, and you can actually see it because it's right here, and it's the circle here. But this piece is the one that burns in, that actually shows up in a lot of pictures, in a lot of the pictures I'm watching. And then there's burning right over here in the corner, right here. And, and there's a burning right here that I just noticed. It really is. And the worst part is, that, like I said, I cheaped out this one time for the first time in my life. I cheaped out and did not buy the warranty. So now I'm going around and around with LG. And just three weeks ago, when they replaced the HDMI ports on this TV, LG was fantastic. It took them, they responded to all my DMs on Twitter right away. And I was able to get the issue fixed in three days, max. It's been a week going around and around with this. Oh yeah, plus my HDMI art port failed again. Um, so I've been going around and around with LG. They won't respond to my DMs anymore. And then I went to their website and it took me two days to, to finally be able to submit a claim because their website is so horribly broken. And, and so I'm not sure I'm at my wits end. So they actually gave me, um, they called me up on Monday and told me that um, they submit some proof of the burning and everything else, so I did that. And now I'm stuck in this limbo where they're not responding to anything. And I'm waiting to hear back. And in the meantime, it's a nice long Thanksgiving holiday weekend. I paid, I paid $1,600 for this TV and I don't even have a fucking TV to watch so I can enjoy my long holiday weekend. So. I don't know if I'm gonna say I'm done with OLED or not, because I still love the technology and I still believe strongly in the technology. But yeah, everyone's right, the burning. And I've never said burning wasn't a real issue and that people didn't get burnings. I just said that, you know, buy a warranty and that's it. But I'm not someone who uses my TV heavily. I mean, I have a five hour commute, daily commute now and normally my habits are pretty normal. I mean, I, I go to work, come home, watch a little TV, um, but I do most of my binge watching on the weekends and I'm, I'm not a heavy gamer. I game for maybe an hour to a day every, a, a day every couple of weeks. So I'm not a heavy gamer. Um, I am a heavy movie watcher and TV watcher and binge watcher on the weekends, but yeah, this is completely unacceptable and it's ridiculous. So. But I don't want to go back on that whole LCD kabuki dance where every TV is faulty and crappy and everything else. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But I'm getting ready to move. And the worst part is I'm getting ready to move in three weeks. And the last thing I want to do is buy another $1,500 TV right when I'm about to move in a few weeks. Um, not to mention the fact that, you know, what's the point of having it delivered, set up? If I have to end up breaking it down again, the move to the new place, and there's no guarantee the new movers are going to set up a new t my TV again. So basically, I'm not on the TV probably until like mid January. 
Now say out of a TV just because this TV is horrible to watch now, but I'm gonna have to put up with it and hope LG gets off their ass and fixes it. But anyway, I thought I would be 100% transparent and let you guys know. So have a great holiday, everyone. Um, but talk to you guys later. Bye.